Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Praise be and thanks to Allah Subhanahu wa taala for the countless blessings he has blessed us all with. Blessings and salutations to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, to his wives, to his family, to the sahaba, the companions and all those that follow his teachings to the day of judgment. So alhamdulillah for today's episode of Kesandari, I will be sharing about how to overcome the Ramadan productivity challenges. As we all know, Ramadan is a time of spiritual reflection and increased commitment to do taqwa for millions of Muslims worldwide. But did you know that fasting or Ramadan, it can be used to boost your productivity? So for some reason, Ramadan is perhaps the most challenging time for any Muslims who are seeking to be productive. I'm pretty sure when it comes to Ramadan, it is very challenging for the Muslims to be productive. That is due to the lack of sleep, laziness, tiredness, lack of focus, and so many on. But the real question is, does fasting kill productivity? So when we think about fasting and productivity, these two seems to be complete opposite. But there are some interesting connections between fasting and productivity in which fasting gives you a sense of purpose and responsibility and to make smart choices with your time and energy and to avoid the draining effects of time killers or time wasters so inshallah for today's episode i'll be sharing two tips or two Inshallah, for today's episode, I'll be sharing two tips for how can you use Ramadan or fasting to increase and boost your productivity. Inshallah, for the first one is to manage your mind's focus. Since fasting halves your energy, it limits our energy level. When you have a limited energy level, it forces you to focus in getting the important things done. So when you start fasting, you realize I need to focus on getting the important things done early in the mornings as I'll be too tired by the end of the day to do anything else. So here, fasting teaches us to focus, to devote our time and energy on the important things that need it rather than waste our time on lesser things. For the final tips is to use your energy wisely. Ramadan can be a tiring month, especially if we are fasting. So it is important to use your energy wisely. We try to plan and schedule our most challenging jobs during the times when we have the most energy, whether that's early in the morning or after breaking your fast in the evening. Inshallah, for these two tips, it can benefit to everyone. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our ibadahs in this holy month of Ramadan, inshallah. So with that being said, aku li kauli hada wa astaghfirullah al-azim li wa lakum wa billahi tawfiq wal hidayah wa assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.